Welcome everyone. For today's practice, you may need a block or a cushion, and we'll start laying down on our backs, taking up as much space as you'd like on the mat, and beginning to connect with the breath, relaxing the body. You may want to place your hand on your low belly, maybe one at your chest, just to check in with the breath, or you can leave them laying down by your side. And we'll start today's practice with several rounds of a three-part breath. Inhaling deeply through the nose, begin to fill the low belly all the way up to the collarbones. When you get to the top, holding. And then exhaling through the mouth. We'll do that two more times, inhaling deeply, filling up all the way, holding at the top. And exhaling through the mouth. One more deep belly breath, maybe your deepest breath today. When you get to the top, maybe taking an extra sip of air in and release. Inhaling the arms up over the head, take a full body stretch, and then start to bring your arms and your legs over towards the left side of your mat. Maybe hooking your right ankle over your left, maybe grabbing onto your right wrist. On every inhalation here, finding a little more expansion. If hooking the ankle or grabbing onto the wrist is a little bit too much for you, feel free to just keep your limbs beside each other. And slowly coming back to center, we'll set up on the other side. We generally have a looser and a tighter side, so it may not look the same Feel free to modify as you need to, either hooking or just keeping your limbs side by side. Slowly coming back to center on your next exhalation, lower the arms down by your side and bring the knees in placing the feet down on the ground, maybe even off the mat, begin to windshield wiper the legs side to side. Feel free to go as slow as you'd like, and if you find a sweet spot, you can even hang out there for a little while. Windshield wipering the legs is a great way to neutralize the low back. It's a great exercise for a little bit of internal and external rotation through the hips as well. And then bringing the knees back up to center, bring them in towards your chest and give yourself a little hug, maybe rocking side to side on your sacrum if that feels good for you. Rock yourself up to a seated position. We're going to come to a kneeling position, so tucking our feet back behind us. And if this is a little bit too much for you, feel free to use a cushion or a block to elevate yourself and give yourself a little bit more support. Once you found your seat, finding a long spine, tucking the chin in towards the chest, begin to bring it over towards your right shoulder, and then all the way up and back. Once we get to the other shoulder, reversing the movement, all the way back to the right shoulder, and then down again. We'll do that on the other side, bringing the chin towards the left shoulder, up and around, and reversing the movement. Feeling the full range of our cervical spine, and then coming back up to neutral. Extend the arms out long in front of you. Point your fingers towards the ceiling and spread them out. Hinging from the wrists, point the fingers down and then up again. Down, making sure the fingers are still spread, and then come back to a level position, rotating the palms out in one way and then all the way around the other way, really feeling this movement all the way up to the shoulders. You keep going like that. Slowly begin to drop the hands back down, We'll do some shoulder rotations, imagining that you're creating a little box with your shoulders. So going forward, then back, down, 
and then forward again. Once you get your full range, you can start to make this a little bit more fluid, more circular, and switching directions. I'm trying to isolate this movement just to the shoulders. Tucking the chin in, we'll begin to draw a box using our elbows, first bringing them to the left corner, up, and then over to the right, and then down again, and back to center. Reversing the movement, we'll bring the elbows down towards the right, up about halfway, over to the left, and then down, and back to center. Releasing the shoulders, and bringing the hands down by our side. The next movement is to work the internal and external rotation of the shoulder. So starting with a straight left arm, we're gonna bring the outside of the hand to the outside of the right leg. On your next inhalation, we'll draw the bicep up towards the ear, rotating the palm out and then back, keeping the arm straight. Inhaling the arm up again and rotating the palm in, bicep by the ear, exhaling the arm down to our right leg. We'll go through that several times, inhaling up, rotating out, and back. We're only working within our range here, so there should be no pain. Trying to isolate this movement to the shoulder, keeping the spine and torso as steady as you can. We'll switch sides, straightening the right arm and bringing the bicep up by the ear, rotating the palm out and back. Inhaling the arm up, rotating the palm in, and exhaling it down towards the outside of our left leg. Inhaling it up, rotating out and back. Inhaling up again, bringing the palm in, bicep by the ear, and exhaling it down by the left leg. One more time, inhaling it up and back. By our bicep and then down again by the left leg. And dropping that movement, extend your arms out long, fingers pointing up towards the ceiling and then begin to curl your fingers and your thumb in towards your hand and then rotate the palm so that they're facing you. And then finger by finger, we'll start to test our range, pointing them up one at a time. Sorry about the middle finger guys. We'll do that again, pointing them each one at a time up, and then shaking it out. Placing the hands down. And make your way now into an easy seated position. Legs are crossed. If you need a cushion or a block underneath for a little support, feel free to add it. And placing the right hand down on the ground, we're gonna inhale the left arm up and over for a side bend. And we'll do that on the other side, placing the Left hand down, right arm up. Inhaling both arms up. We'll do a little twist here, bringing the right hand to the left knee and the left hand behind us, looking over our shoulder, spine is long. Inhaling to come back up to center, bringing the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind, maybe looking over our shoulder again. Inhaling back up to center, and then relaxing the hands down. Relaxing the hands down behind us, fingers pointing towards us. Bring the feet out wide in front and windshield wiper one side and then the other just once to neutralize the spine. And then we'll come to meet in a neutral tabletop position, making sure that our wrists are stacked underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips. We'll go through several rounds of cat and cow, dropping the belly and inhaling up for cow and exhaling under for cat, tucking the tailbone and chin. Inhaling up for cow. Exhaling, curling under for cat. Inhaling up. Coming back to a neutral spine, place your right hand behind your head, pushing into your head a little bit and lifting the elbow up. 
Inhaling to open up to the side and then exhaling, curling under elbow to elbow. Inhaling out again, exhaling in. And this movement really targets the upper back. So try to keep the low back stable while you do it. Inhaling open and then we'll switch sides, bringing the left hand to the back of the head and pushing a little bit into that head, lifting the elbow up and then opening up to the side, exhaling in elbow to elbow. Inhaling up and open, exhaling in elbow to elbow. Inhaling up and out, and exhaling in. And then bringing the hand back down to the ground, exhaling back to child's pose. And you can take this with your knees wide if you'd like to target your hips a little bit more. If you'd like to target your lower back, you can bring your knees together for this. Breathing here. And feel free to stay in this position as long as you'd like. Breathing into any tight spaces you may feel. Thank you so much for joining me for practice today. Namaste.